several years of drift in Afghanistan. So I think Iran is on notice that when we meet with them on October 1st, they are going to have to come clean and they are going to have to make a choice. Are they willing to go down the path which I think ultimately will lead to greater prosperity and security for Iran, giving up uh, the acquisition of nuclear weapons and deciding that they are willing to abide by international rules and standards in their pursuit of peaceful nuclear energy? Uh, or will they continue uh, down a path that is going to lead to uh, confrontation? It's been a much more tumultuous response. Uh, and I think uh, I have said repeatedly that we're going to operate on two tracks, that our preferred method of action is diplomatic. But if that does not work, then other consequences may follow. We agree to take concrete steps to move forward with tough new financial regulations. So we are doing exactly what I said we would do in March. I put in a new commander. When we find that diplomacy does not work, we will be in a much stronger position to, for example, apply sanctions that have bite. Risks. We will create more powerful tools to hold large global financial firms accountable and orderly procedures to manage failures without burdening taxpayers. And we will tie executive pay to long-term performance so that sound decisions are rewarded instead of short-term greed. In short, our financial system 